Welcome to Physics Can Be Fun with me, Stephen Thomas. Today we're going to look at work done in moving objects up a slope. So let's suppose we have a ball and we're going to roll it up the slope. How much work is done? Now here is our formula that we have to apply. So let's try and work it out. Right. Let's suppose that this ball has a force or weight of one newton. We're going to try and keep it simple. So what direction does the weight always act? It always acts straight down. So let me draw that. There is our F or weight. The weight, don't confuse it with the work. Right? One Newton. Straight down. So the work done in moving something up the slope is one. Delta x, that's the displacement. We want to move this up a slope that is one meter long. So the delta x, the length of the slope is, let's keep it simple, one meter. From there, to the top of the slope is one meter. So that takes care of that. And then we have cos theta. Now, what is cos theta? Well, theta is the angle between the force and the displacement. So we know our ball is going to go only up the slope. So that angle there is theta. Get that again? Theta is the angle between the displacement and the force that we've got to overcome. So the only force involved here is weight. So that is our force. The angle here is between the force and the direction of displacement. So let's give this a value. Let's suppose the value of our slope is 20 degrees. What is theta going to be equal to? Well, look at it. From the vertical to the horizontal is 90 degrees, plus the slope is 20 degrees, so theta is 90 plus 20 is 110. So this is force times the displacement is 1 times cos of 110 degrees. And so, let's find out what our work done is going to be equal to. Work done is equal to 1 times 1 times cos 110. Cos 110 equals, and it's going to be 0 0.3, and it's negative, equals negative 0, 0,3. Work is measured in joules. Now, so it's a, th it's a third of a joule of work. What does the negative mean? The negative means that our force is actually slightly backward. If this is our displacement up here, the force is actually pulling it back. So we have to have an equal force, equal and opposite force to pull it up the slope. So all that the negative sign is denoting is that this is going to be a negative force that, it, that we're measuring from. Just as a matter of interest, what do you think this angle here would be? What do you think that angle there would be? Well, let's, let's think about it logically. If this is 110 degrees and there are 180 degrees in a semicircle, 180 minus 110 is going to be equal to 180 minus 110 is going to be 70 degrees. So this would be 70 degrees. And interestingly enough, 
the cos of 70 is positive 0.3. Cos of 70, cos of 70, 0.3. So, if you, your ball was going in this direction, down the slope, the force would be in the same direction as the displacement, so it would be a positive, uh, a positive value, meaning it's adding energy to the ball. That negative value means we have to, we are taking energy out of, or this is taking energy away, it's not adding energy to the ball. So energy would have to be added from outside to get the ball up the slope. So do you see how easy it is to work out the forces of objects that have to be moved up a slope? And down the slope, it's the same thing. If we were moving our object down the slope, then here would be the direction of the slope. That would be theta, and we would get the same answer, but it would be a positive value. So it takes it would just mean that we are adding energy, a positive value, to our ball as it moves down the slope and it would get faster, in fact. So, in summary, W, work done in moving an object a certain distance, delta x. Force means the, the weight. This force is always the weight in newtons. In this case, it was 1. The distance was 1. Cars. Theta, we work out theta as the angle between the weight and the displacement. So the displacement's always up the slope. How easy is it to work out our theta, plug in our values, and that is how we solve that type of problem.